Hey guys, this is Airbusman5514, and today I'm going to show you how to get uh, functionality back into your pinky switch on your SciTech X52. Um, if you're like me and accidentally upgraded to SciTech's most recent drivers, um, they did take the functionality out of the um, pinky switch as a button. Um, now it's used as a shift key. Um, so I'm going to show you how to get that plus the clutch um, mouse, both mouse buttons back. Um, the clutch and both mouse buttons plus the pinky switch back. So first what you need to do is go down here and make sure that your profiler is open. Or, yeah, profiler, the little throttle icon. It should be set to start up um, with Windows Startup, but if not, you can go over here and type in profiler um, and it should pull up something that looks like a joystick. Um, but since I already have mine open, it's okay. Now go here, right, right click and select control panel. This does need to be open at all times. Um, so now over here in flight simulator, uh, you go to settings, and I can't move this for some reason, so you go to settings, controls, um, and go to buttons and keys, and I have my pinky switch set to um, retract the flaps inc incrementally, like on an A321, uh, flaps 4 to 3, 3 to 2, 2 to 1, to 1 to, one to uh, up. Um, that's what I have mine set as. But the best part is, um, you can ch once I change the assignment, I have button 6, of course, which is the pinky switch, but I also um, have the clutch button, which is button 30, the button 31, which is the mouse click button, and button 32, which is the scroll, which is when you press the scroll wheel in on the back of the throttle clear that, um, but you can use whatever you do. Um, you can use whatever you want. I just keep I just keep your uh, button 6. Um, and it also, the multi-function display keys are unlocked automatically, but sometimes they're not, um, sometimes they're a little slow to respond. With this, it fixes that. Um, so that, yeah, that's how you do it. Just to recap, um, uh, you can open the profiler, Go over here, right click control panel, and keep this open for as long as you're going to be using your flight simulator. I usually just try to move it out of sight and out of mind. Um, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Um, I can like I can still see some of the um, stuff over here. But the main thing is you have your functionality back in both of those, in all actually all four of those buttons, um, to which functionality had previously been erased, um, and how you get your clutch button, I forgot there's a procedure that I followed. Um, you go to MFD and go to enable clutch mode and you have to use, you have to uncheck latch, cl latch clutch button and also uncheck enable clutch mode. Apply that and go over here to test and then you can um, put any of the controls in that you want. Uh, that's what I did and that's how you do it. Um, leave any questions, comments, concerns in the comment section, although chances are I probably won't get any because the Google Plus thing, not a fan. Um, sorry, I didn't mean to say that. Um, so, yeah, that's about it. Um, feel free to rate, comment, subscribe, do whatever you want. Um, and this is Airbus Fan 5514 out.